I'm sure by now that most of you have heard that Funka Kindle and her husband, JJC Skills, are no longer together. The news broke this morning as JJC Skills, you know, got on social media and of course broke the news. But before I delve into how and what got them to that point, I'd like you to please watch these videos. Happy Father's Day, Baba Beji. Oh yeah, the body, leg walk. Oh yeah, leg walk, leg walk, leg walk. <laughs> this leg walk, serious, so... Happy Father's Day, darling. God bless and keep you safe. Thank you so much for being a wonderful father to the children. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. Ah, this man like and children by Jebaje. And we love you too. Keep doing your thing. God bless and keep you safe. May you continue to enjoy many more Father's Day on earth. Oh, yeah. Papa, baby. Happy Father's Day. Eh? JJC. Happy Father's Day. Oh yeah, Mr. Bello. Happy Father's Day. Love you, darling. Happy Father's Day. Oh, is your dad and Funke in good terms now? Guys, they're not they're not really together. I'm telling you, they both cheated on each other. They both had a fight. They my dad's practically living somewhere else. Like I I I and I don't even have no care for them no more. You know, like I can't I can't I can't. I can't talk for them as a couple anymore. I can only just say what I've seen. So what seems to be like a match made in heaven, I remember back when they got married, right, has come to an end. And I'm just wondering because I personally, I mean, I remembered these two people when they were dating. I was working at the media house and the media company back then. And I was looking at these two people and at, at an event. We were on the red carpet. And I was telling my colleague, I said, JJ Siskiza from Kakit Lee, they are dating. Watch out for it. And guess what? Some weeks after, they announced the engagement. And I remember the back then, you know, they came to the office, you know, after the marriage and all of that, they came to the office, you know, they, brought, they even had this record label they started. It's called the SOP Records. I don't know if it's still functioning right now because it seems to me like there are no artists on that label anymore. And looking at these two people, it was beautiful to see. It was beautiful to behold, right? Um, JGC is an amazing person. Um, Funke is a beautiful, she's beautiful at heart and all of that. And I remember... You know that they came to the office with the artist, and it was it was just it was just like the, their life revolved around them. It was just both of them in their world because at that point, Funke was you know very popular, a uh, popular actress, and of course, Gigi Siskel wasn't new into the industry, the music industry as well. And you know, the both of them come together, saw them begin to produce, you know, come videos, comedy videos, soap operas, you know, family shows that we all watch on African Magic today. Like, you know, my siblings and I, um, there are a lot of those stuff you watch in African Magic Family that you get to see every evening. It's produced by Funke Akidele and, of course, JGC Skills. Now, where did this all go wrong? Because even on Father's Day, like you saw earlier, Funke Akidele wished JGC Skills, right, a happy Father's Day, you know, she was saying she loves him, the children love him, and he's been a great father and all of that. And now, where did this start going wrong? Remember a particular video that came out about two months ago where the son of JJC came out to say that, you know, his dad and his mom, his stepmom, rather, are not together anymore. And, you know, it, it's packed a lot of online, you know, rumors and all of that. People were shocked at the revelations that came out. A lot of people were insulting the guy, the son, that, you know, he was being like a very bad child and his father scolded him and decided to come on social media, you know, to come and spill or, or dry their dirty linen in public, right? Oh. Is your dad and Funke in good terms now? Guys, they're not, they're not really together. I'm telling you, they both cheated on each other. They both had a fight. They, my dad's practically living somewhere else. Like, I, 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 and I don't even have no care for them no more. You know, like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't talk for them as a couple anymore. I can only just say what I've seen. After the revelation by dear son, right? One month down the line, the AMVC has happened. The African Magic Viewers chose the word. And these two people that we know regularly to be like the power couple on the red carpet came in separate cars. In fact, literally, we do not have a picture of both of them together on the red carpet. They had their interviews separately. The interviews were done separately. And of course, they moved into the hall separately until a particular video that we saw of JJ Siskel himself. And I think, and I, I'm thinking that this was just to, you know, salvage the whole social media thinking because i mean a lot of people were watching them after their son had come out to see all of that so one more down the line there's an event for actors and all of that and they have to be there because they're in the movie industry 
So they come to the show, they come separately, but if, at the end of the day, we find both of them together in a video. And I'm just thinking that this is just to salvage the situation and let people you know, kind of see them together, you know, and say that they're together and all of that. Because, I mean, Funke was even looking like she was into that video. She was just trying to just, just, you just show for the camera. Now, JGC came out to say this morning that three months ago, he moved out of the house, right? At the insistence of Funke. And I'm wondering, you know, it must have meant that Funke asked him to leave the house. Now, they've been cheating on each other, according to their son. Um, JGC Skills cheated on Funke. And then, I, I heard this multiple times, allegedly, right? And then, we see Funke, according to the story, also cheated on JGC. And I'm wondering that revenge is not the solution to cheating. True this year, the other person cheated. But of course, you revenging by cheating, it does more harm than good. Now, see what he said here. He said he moved out of the house three months ago. And apart from the EMVCA that they were together, that, you know, we saw them for one sitting together, he has not been able to get Funke to sit down in an amicable manner to discuss the future of their relationship. Now, one of the things that join these two people together is their children, the custody of their, their kids. And of course, you have two kids together. And of course, their business. And of course, you know, JGC Skills is out here saying that, you know what, these things need to be resolved. And he's trying to come out so the people who they have businesses together can, you know, know that they're not together anymore and they're pursuing their separate lives. One of the pointers to the fact that the relationship wasn't working anymore is the fact that these two people, you know, do whatever it is when it comes to TV productions and content together. But just recently, we saw that JJC started a children's channel and fantastic job is doing where, you know, um, for the Nigerian culture, the Nigerian language from Yoruba to House and Evo, he did a cartoon for them. I mean, it's amazing. You see kids singing and dancing to the videos, the cartoons you're watching in the TV screens. So at this point, we realized that, you know what, this was his own project. And when I saw that, it just dawned on me that these people might not be together anymore. A very close friend of their family, who I know very well, who I have a conversation with, told me that, you know what, the money that these people have made, if they don't work for the rest of their lives, it's enough for them to ball. So I'm sure that that's one of the reasons why GGC is out here because I'm sure they probably have some things together business-wise, some documents together. And, you know, he's out here saying that, you know what, we need to separate this, this file, so we need to separate these documents and let's pursue our separate lives. Now, Funke hasn't come out to say anything. She hasn't said a word. Her last post was, I think, three days ago, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, apart from the one that she, the two that she pinned on her Instagram page, it's just been um, one that she posted three days ago for an advert or brand and all of that. And just so you know, Funke has been nominated to be like the deputy governor for the PDP in Lagos State, right? So she's been nominated. She's not been approved, right? She's just been nominated to be a running mate. And that's all we know for now. I do hope that this can be resolved and me can be. These two people are beautiful together, business-wise. Um, it's painful, right? But of course, I mean, life goes on and life continues. And we hope that, you know, they find peace, they, they, they can resolve it if possible. But in the long run, it is what it is, right? Please go to the comment section let me know what you think. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification button, and guess what? You will not find whenever I post the videos. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok. And follow me at the Daniel. Until next time, I'm coming with very soon. It's bye for now.